Do you, do you ever see new trees and sometimes they start to fail? And you wonder why they are failing. A cause that it could be, but not always, it could be a bug, such as what we call a bore. And these are two good examples of trees that have bores on them. And this one right here, you can see how it has a lot of the branches that died, but still some of it's still alive. What happened with this one is that the bore attacked it and it got up through here. And that's a good example of what bore damage is. You look for galleries. And a lot of people go down here and they say, oh, is that bore? No, that's, that's not bore. You have, to, you have to look for the galleries and the bugs to identify it for sure as bore. So I know nine bark is a good example of having bores, but it's not a good example of identifying because the bark and the galleries look very similar. So you do have to look for the gallery. Make sure you, you see that there's the frass that goes along with it and the penaline and things like that. That's what you're looking for. And the best thing to do is actually to find the bug. So uh, that's, that's a really good example of one where the top of it has it. And this one here has a bore as well, but it's not anywhere near as long. It's going through the problem as that one is. And mostly, when you take a look at it, there's a little bit of a, a hole right there, a tiny one, and that's about all that we found on it. So sometimes the bore can be real small and hard to find. Other times it's real easy and pronounced. And if you don't know what's happening, it's very easy to misidentify what it is. This is the damage that you may see on your nine bark. Look close to where the bud shoots grow out from the stems. Usually that's a good place for a bug to enter. And what we do to control the nine bark beetle and borers is we burn them. We have a burn pile and burning is a very effective means of destroying the pathogens. It gets a hundred percent control. If it's in there, it dies, it burns. You don't have to use a pesticide. Fire is your best control. At Highland Hill Farm, we have many different kinds of trees and shrubs that we grow. And we also have a hunter access program. So if you're a hunter, you can come to Highland Hill Farm and hunt geese, ducks, deer, turkey, raccoon, possum. We have all kinds of hunting opportunities here for you. All we ask is you bring us something that we can use on the farm. Sometimes we have you bring a bag of corn for our deer feeder or bird seed for our bird feeders. But just give us a call at Highland Hill Farm at 215-651-8329. And we also do a lot of bartering here. So if you have something that you think that we might be able to use on the farm that you no longer use, give us a call because we'd be glad to discuss bartering opportunities here as well. Just call us 215-651-8329. Thank you.
This video is brought to you by Highland Hill Farm. We grow and sell screening and buffering trees for privacy and sound barriers.